what up everybody let me turn that off and get into this story time on my way to work man all right what i got for y'all today the time my one of my best friends broke into my house so yeah that was some shady shit so let's get into it let's check it out and see see how it went down this is how it went down every morning before school you know we would play street fighter because you know we used to go to the arcade room and play street fighter you know what i'm saying it cost like 25 cents you know so i wound up getting it on the sega genesis and i got street fighter when it came out on there so i got a street fighter 2 uh tournament edition i guess that's what it was back then and uh in the morning times you know what I'm saying we would come over every morning and shit, I beat his ass in it. You know, every day I'd be whooping his ass. Whooping his ass real bad because I, I knew patterns and shit. You know, I knew how to do do stuff. But yeah, a couple of times he'll, you know, he'll beat me. But this, for this strange reason, he ran downstairs and went into my, uh, my sister room and locked the door. So I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, come out my sister room, man. What you doing in there? I didn't think nothing of it, so you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got done playing. You know what I'm saying? We went up to the store where they played the video games in because that's where we hang out before we go to school. And there was enough time left over, you know what I'm saying, to chill out there because that's where everybody go. So now, this motherfucker disappeared. I don't know where he went. I'm in there, you know what I'm saying, hollering at the people that I usually holler at, you know, the girls. And we get to school, they come to school. I'm like, what the, why he come to school? No, he did come to school. He came to school late. So when he came to school late, you know what I'm saying? I still, in the back of my head, wasn't thinking of it. I had a good day at school. I don't know what happened during school, but when I'm coming home, I open the door and my sister room, you know what I'm saying? The curtains was blowing. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm scared as fuck. I'm like, I went back out, I wasn't gonna go in. But then I said, fuck it, I gotta go in. You know what I'm saying? They probably gone by now if they broke in. So I went in, went to her room, looked around, looked around, I seen TVs, VCRs and everything, you know, still there. And so I'm like, what the hell? What's going on? You know? So then I runs upstairs to my room and I looked down and I was like, my, my Sega gone. Because I usually leave the Sega on the floor. I'm the Sega Genesis on the floor. I'm like, my Sega gone. And then, for some reason, I look down and I seen like basketball cards on the ground. And I'm like, I went through my basketball. I was like, they took my basketball cards. You know, I had some good ones. I had Hologram Jordan. I had a couple of cards that was worth $5, you know, $6 back then. Shaq rookie card. Penny Hardaway. Uh, I had a lot of them players back in the day, rookie cards. And so they was all missing. So I called my moms and tell her, like, mom, somebody broke in. And she was like, what? What, what happened? So I was like, uh, they broke in through Doran's window. And she was like, Doran's window? How'd they get in through Doran's? I was like, they broke it in. They tore the screen up, stick their hand through there, and then they opened it up. So now she like, uh huh. That ain't that's that's not right. Who was in there with you? And I told her nobody was in here. I said, but Barry and I did run into my room in the morning. My mama started cussing me out, talking about you dumb as hell. That was Barry on ass in that room, and he the one who fucking did. It. I was like, no, mama, he wouldn't do that. She was like, when I get home, I'm gonna tell your ass up for letting him in the. Cause I ain't. I wasn't supposed to have people in the house, and so I let him in the house in the morning times, you know. And she didn't know that, and so now she know. So now she said, I'm going to tell your ass up when I get home. So shit. I'm standing in the house. I'm waiting till my mama get home. When my mama get home, she like, we going over his house. And I'm like, damn, mama, don't go over his house. She's like, yes, he the one stole it. He ain't take nothing else but your video game and your car. Cause that's him. So we get to over to his house. <laughs> get over to his house. My mom talks to his mom, you know. She was like, your son, Barry I, was over my house in the morning time, went in my son's room, I mean my sister's, my daughter's room, I don't know for what, locked himself in there, and I'm guessing he opened the window. And 
now my son's PlayStation, my, my son, I keep saying PlayStation like it's new, my son's Sega Genesis is coming up missing, and his basketball cards. And she was like, well, my son has a Sega Genesis, and he has basketball cards, too. And my mom was like, well, um, he took it. And so what had happened was she called for her son. She yelled out, like, Barry on! You know how you're doing in Chicago. The kids be playing right in the yard. And she called for him. And somehow he came in. So he came in. He gave me this look like, uh, this little silly-ass look. And I'm like, oh, man, I hope you ain't done it. Very our mama. Oh, I said his name. Shouldn't have said his name. His mom asked him, uh, what she asked him? She asked him, did he, uh, did he break in my house and steal his basketball cards? And he was like, no. And then my mom said, mm, yeah, I think you did. And she was like, well, where would he have put it? She was like, probably his book bag. So his mom was like, like where's your book bag at? Very I went and grabbed his book bag. <laughs> and he grabbed his book bag, unzipped it. Why my PlayStation, I keep saying PlayStation, why my Sega Genesis fell out and my basketball cards. And then his mom was like, whoa, 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 he got one of these too. And he got these cards. And I said, he ain't got that controller because I tried to fix my own controller because I had one of the uh, controllers that got six buttons on it, you know, and it was kind of broke. So, and I tried to fix it because I couldn't find one like it no more. So I'm like, that's mine. And then I said, that hologram Jordan, don't nobody got those. I got that. And so then she was like, I'm so sorry. Is there anything you want me to do? She was smacking the shit out, Barry on, popping on his ass, told him he was grounded. And she was like, no, she was just like, I just hope that, you know what I'm saying, he don't do this again, man. You know, we'll try to keep our kids from each other. And I was looking at him like shaking my head like, yeah, it's going down. All right. So after that, my best friend, he didn't come to school for about a week. Scratch that. He came to school, but he came late every single day. So one day, I decided to ditch school. Me and my buddy Martinez. I keep saying names. Me and my, me and my other buddy. You know what I'm saying? I uh, skipped school with him. And so as we skipping school, this is middle school. As I, we skipping school, I see his ass walking by himself. Martinez, I keep saying names. Damn, I can't say it. Uh, my best friend was like, there he go right there. Let's get him. I'm like, no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I got this. I don't want to jump on nobody. So, I come walking down the street out of nowhere. He didn't even see me coming. He couldn't even run. He couldn't do shit. And he just, I looked at him. I was like, why would you do that, man? And he couldn't say nothing. I was like, why you do it, man? He's just shaking his head with that silly look. Ah, like I told you he had. He couldn't tell me. So, I just got to swing on Bam, bam, bam. Instantly, the mark fell to the ground. And as he fell to the ground, I started kicking him, stomping him, punching him. Punching him in his mouth, punching him in his head, punching him some airwell. And he got up and was like, you gonna get yours. You gonna get yours. I'm like, what you mean I'm gonna get mine? You broke in my house and then he ran home. So when he ran home, me and my snails was like, oh shit, we gotta go to school now. So as we went to school, you know, tried to play it off like nothing went, went wrong. My snails is in a different class. Well, my, not my snails. My, uh, my other best friend, was um, in a in another class, you know. So I come out of school by myself, you know. And as I'm coming out, I see him, the boy that broke into my house, one of my best friends that broke into my house, and all his uh and his 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 family, pretty much. They was like two cars deep. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna get my ass whooped. So I kept walking. I ain't even turn around. I ain't do nothing. I just walked through him. You know what I'm saying? Walk right past him. They all jumped out the car, and his brother, littler than him, and he told him his brother, his little brother jumped out, but he probably older than us. And he like, what you jump on my brother for? I'm like, what you mean jump on your brother? I was like, I ain't jump on your brother. First of all, he ain't tell y'all that he broke into my house, and you know that, and I beat him up by myself. I told my buddy that, you know what I'm saying, don't even jump in. And he asked him like, man, is this true? And then he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, man, y'all gonna fight one on one. He ain't wanna fight. He ain't want none of the problems. So, you know what I'm saying? They kinda let me go. You know what I'm saying? Walked off. Shit. 
If I would have had my buddy that was with me, if we'd have jumped on him, it'd have whooped my ass. Beat the shit out of me. I'm so glad I told him that, nah, we ain't jumping on him. And so from there on out, you know what I'm saying, me and him, I see him, I say, what's up? Other than that, we cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problems with him. I'm even buddies with him on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? After that, we squashed everything. I just ain't been friends with him since. You know what I'm saying? I said, what's up to him and kept him moving. All right, man, tell me what you think. But y'all would have done in a situation like this. All right, man, I'm out. Peace.